Special power demands, special circumstances, unusual locations, these create extraordinary challenges and require exceptional, flexible solutions. Vaxila's floating power plants, to some known as power barges, are a proven answer to a wide range of demands and requirements. Flexibility one step further where traditional answers come up short. Vaxila has long experience, a quarter of a century, in building floating power plants, 26 of them to date, carrying a total of 183 engines with combined output in excess of 1,500 megawatts. A floating power plant has a number of advantages, providing fast supply, mobility, and security in the face of some of nature's worst hazards. When towed in place and connected to the grid, the plants are fully functional, providing a fail-safe option even in the remotest locations and under the most challenging ambient conditions. By following a regime of recommended practice, these barges can remain undocked for up to 20 years. Floating power plants are attractive both as stationary as well as temporary plants. If needed, the owner can move the barge to another location that's in need of power. The latest and greatest floating power plant is the 106 megawatt high efficiency combined cycle plant named Estrella del Mar II. It's the fourth floating plant delivered by Vercila to the Dominican Republic. The plant features six 18-cylinder Vercila 50DF engines in V configuration with full heat recovery and a steam turbine. The Estrella del Mar II has heavy fuel oil storage tanks available on shore, so it opted for dual fuel engines that can run on either fuel oil or gas. The plant not only gives flexibility in terms of fuel, but also has quick startup and loading time. Plant output will be 108 megawatts on heavy fuel oil or 106 megawatts on gas. Exhaust heat is recovered from the engines and fed into a single pressure heat recovery boiler. The steam turbine generator has an output of 8.8 .8 megawatts and operates at 13.8 kilovolts. Step-up transformers will allow power to be provided to the grid at 69 kilovolts. Estrella del Mar II replaces two older Vertila built floating plants to supply the urban needs of the capital, Santo Domingo. Half a world away, in Papua New Guinea, a vastly different environment, a very different need. There, a floating power plant provides electricity to the Lihir Island gold mine. A leading global gold company operates the power plant as a solution to the company's power needs for the mining site. A floating power plant solution has the excellent advantage of location flexibility. Also located in the Dominican Republic is the Sultana del Este. It features operational commitment, environmentally advanced performance, and highly efficient generation with heavy fuel oil. Dr. Bird 2 is safely moored next to its older counterpart, Dr. Bird 1, in the Jamaican Bay. This is the first power barge that Barzilla designed from scratch in order to satisfy the owner's requirements on fuel storage capacity and easy operation and maintenance. This plant took part in improving the critical power situation prevailing in the country when delivered. Site work was minimal since no onshore fuel tanks were required. The engines are cooled with onboard radiators. The Kulna power plants in Bangladesh, Tiger 1 and Tiger 3, are designed and constructed for operation in extreme site conditions at high temperatures and in seawater. Our 
Turnkey solutions include site preparation and operation and maintenance services. The lead time from contract to startup is short, guaranteeing a quick return on your investment. These floating power plants, each uniquely designed to meet specific needs, integrate our expertise in marine technology with Wärzela's flexible, decentralized power generation technologies. Wärzela floating power plants, designed and tailor-built to meet specific needs, take that flexibility one step further.